and welcome back to Lindy's Beauty Corner. As you can see, things have kind of moved around and changed around. I'm in the exact same room that I used to film in, except I'm on the other side of the room. So you can see my favorite hobby in the background, which is reading. And so, yeah, that's my background for now. Uh, I'm probably gonna add a couple plants here and there. But anyway, also one more thing you might notice that um, I'm not entirely sure how to handle. Uh, I do wear glasses, but I I paid the extra money to get the anti-glare coating on the lenses. So when light hits the lens, it's just like a purple glare. Like if you have these glasses, you know what I'm talking about. They protect your eyes when you're using your phone, your computer, you're watching TV a lot. I'm a teacher, so I'm behind a screen a good portion of the day to grade, to set up things, to show my kids, etc. And so I was like, well, might as well protect my eyes. If you can hear rummaging, I'm sorry. My husband and I adopted, or we kind of rescued, um, this little baby kitty. She is the most curious thing in the world, and she likes to chew on everything. But anyway, uh, so today we are going to do my giant empties haul. Now, this is an empties haul that I would like to say is from the entire past year since, um... Obviously, I haven't filmed for you guys in about a year. I am a teacher. It is very hard to film and teach at the exact same time. Uh, I'm trying to get a schedule going so that I can just do it, but most of the times my weekends are taken up by friends and family and I don't have time to film during the school year. So during the summer, I'm going to crank out a lot of videos for you guys, but I have a lot of empties. Like, this is one, one bin of empties and I have a second one right here that's equally full uh so let's just go ahead and hop into it i'll let you guys know uh everything that i used up completely or if it's not used up completely i'll explain to you why it's not used up completely and whether or not i would buy it again or have bought it again because a lot of these i have bought again so i'm just gonna start from the top because this is a haphazardly stacked mess so <laughs> let's just get into it okay first up is native deodorant um, this is the, what scent is this? I think this is the, yeah, this is the cucumber and mint scent. And, uh, um, it works, except this scent isn't as powerful as the vanilla coconut one. So I did find I had to reapply this, like, one or two times throughout the day, depending on what I was doing. Uh, it does smell really good. It's really refreshing. It, like, doesn't make me stink like a sweaty monster after, you know, putting it on which a lot of um, natural deodorants, like Tom's natural deodorant, I can't wear because it just doesn't work with my armpits. Um, but native deodorant is actually doing like a pretty decent job. I am uh, going to go and try one or two more out. I've been doing a lot of research and things like that. So I'm going to go try maybe one or two out. But native is available at Target and if you are in the market for a pretty good natural deodorant that even if you have to reapply, does keep you from stinking like a sweaty monster, then I actually really do highly recommend this. And I've already bought another one in the original coconut vanilla scent. So uh, there's that. Uh, next up is, this looks really gross, but this is the Essential 17 Hair Growth Oil. Uh, I picked this up at Target and it is for all sorts of hair. Basically what it is, you shake it up, you can tell like there's like looks like sedimentary things in it. It has a whole bunch of different natural ingredients in this, uh, including uh, emu oil, rosemary leaf extract, olive oil, jo uh, jojoba seed oil, uh, sweet almond oil, tea tree oil, horsetail powder, peppermint oil, essential oil bind, and a botanical blend. Um, you just shake it up and you put it on your scalp and it's supposed to help with hair growth. And I don't know if this is actually like what made my hair grow so quickly, but you'll notice my hair is actually pretty short. It's longer now than it was when I first got it cut. If you want to see that, it's on my Instagram, social media. Uh, but my hair had grown so much that when I went in to donate my hair, I donated 13 inches off of my head. That's a lot of hair and it's already started to grow back. It was up right here at my jaw. And now it's already like maybe an inch and a half, two inches longer than it was. It's currently kind of wavy right now because this is like day, day two hair. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like I don't know if this is 
what's causing it or my diet or what but my hair grows stupid fast and I do use that a lot uh next up is right on top is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation uh this was I believe it was a new product maybe a new product maybe no I don't think it was a new product they re-release new shades uh uh, they really they release new shades and i was able to grab the lightest shade that they have because look at me i'm pale as a ghost uh my shade is in swan and you can tell i used up all of this foundation like you, you will get nothing but nasty air bubbles whenever you try to pump it and it actually worked pretty well um i wore it every single day once it set it didn't really budge on my face the only complaint that i have about that or have about it and it might just be because it's summertime and my um, style is kind of shifting, is that when it dries down, it dries down to like a powdery, semi-matte finish. And right now I'm more into like the summery, dewy, glowy type of um, finishes. Next up, and I have a lot of these, is the Dr. Teal's Pink Himalayan Mineral Salts. Uh, I have, well, it's not just the Pink Himalayan. I have the Pink Himalayan, I have the Lavender Essential Oil, I have the Deep Marine Sea Kelp Mineral Soak. Um, I have another one right here. This is another deep marine mineral soak. Um, I love, 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 love detox baths. My little pile is falling over. I'm sorry. Uh, I love detox baths. And you can tell I go through a lot of different scents and a lot of different things. My all-time favorite one is the deep marine sea kelp. It smells like you are soaking in a beautiful ocean in Hawaii. Like, it smells just so good and so amazing and it always makes my skin feel super 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 soft after I get out of the bath and it's, I always exfoliate while I'm soaking to help usher in the good things like magnesium and the salts and to get all the, the bad stuff out. Um, I love it. That's my favorite scent. And I don't know if it's limited edition. I haven't been able to find it recently. So I do have another peppermint one in my um, my bathroom right now. And I, not peppermint, I have another lavender in my bathroom right now. And I have a mini peppermint one that I've been trying to work through. Uh, so I, I love this stuff. I will never be without this stuff. And for the rest of my life, I can promise you. Okay, Um. next up, let's just go right here. Uh, this one's been in here for a while, so it probably looks a little gross, but this is the Aveeno um, Smart Essentials Daily Moisturizer with SPF 30. I didn't like this stuff at all. You put it on, it goes on thick, just like sunscreen. I mean, it is a sunscreen, or it has a sunscreen in it, but it acted more of like a gloopy white mess than an actual moisturizer. And I found myself, instead of reaching and grabbing this one, like, this is full. Like, if I were to throw this at somebody, it might actually, like, hurt. <laughs> I'm not a violent person, I promise. Uh, but, like, it took forever to rub it into the skin. It was really white. It had flashback. And it was just greasy. It made my skin feel clogged and nasty. And so I just, I didn't use it after, like, probably, like, two weeks. Like, that's still pretty full. Um, and I just put it in the bin because I was like, no, I am never going to get this ever again. Uh, I found a, um, physical sunscreen, uh, that I've been using. Once I've used it up, it'll be in one of these videos, I promise. But that was a no from me. Oh, look, another native deodorant. This is the original scent, uh, the coconut vanilla. See, like, I love this stuff. All right, next up is the Dr. Teal's body oil. This one is the lavender oil. Uh, I think I get this from my local HEB, but if you are in the market for a really nice like bath oil to soak in, to make your skin feel super soft, or even if you want to just um, put a little bit on when you get out of the bath or out of the shower, it does wonders. Oh my goodness. It, like I have really soft elbows now and they used to be really not soft. Like I absolutely love this, but I can only find it at my local HEB and it runs about $6, I think. But mm, compared to the Bath and Body Works one that's like $15, $16, this is a definite winner because it's a little bit more fluid ounce wise I believe but either way the price beats it 
Um, next up, uh, all right, up next is the, this is what's leaking, uh, the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt Deep, or Hydrate and Repair Conditioner. Um, I love the Shea Moisture products because they are, come on, focus, there we go, they are cruelty-free, there's no sulfates, no, uh, phthalates, no parabens, no propylene glycol, no mineral oil, no animal testing, no petroleum, uh, it's really good for your hair, it's, um, it has like manuka honey in it, yogurt, uh, mafura oil, uh, and I just, I love this brand, this particular conditioner, I don't know if you can tell, but it's still kind of full, uh, my hair didn't, like, after I've been using it, like, for a few weeks, my hair stopped responding to it very well, instead of getting, like, curly and hydrated and refreshed, it started looking a little limp and greasy, so this is, like, super, super hydrating, and my hair was overly hydrated, which is where my hair was doing that, so if you have really, really, really dry, damaged hair, uh, I would highly recommend this, this is what I use, uh, after I go swimming with chlorinated water or I go swimming in the ocean, it's really good to have on hand. All right, uh, up next, and like, okay, I need to have like a disclaimer here. This is the Pixie by Petra makeup finishing spray, and so many people say this is their die hard, their die hard, and I want to say that it would be my die hard too, except the applicator is the jankiest thing ever. Like, See that? It just, it squirts one line out and it completely messes up your makeup. And it's like, you would have to hold it like 10 feet away from your face and spray it on and try to like, hopefully it doesn't all sit in one spot. It's like the sprayer on this was awful. So I didn't even really get a chance to try it out and use it all that much. Next up, I have the 100% virgin coconut oil daily hydration conditioner, again by Shea Moisture. Uh, I have already repurchased this. There is a giant one that's in my shower right now. My hair loves coconut oil, so this is just coconut oil, co coconut milk. Um, it's just like a really nice light moisturizer for curly hair, and I just, I really love it. It makes my hair super soft. It smells like a tropical vacation, so I've already repurchased this. Um, all right, next up I have, I don't even know what brand this is. Hoboko brand something I don't know I don't know where I got this home goods there's a sticker on it but this is a um kind of earthy uh, hand wash this is lavender sage and I had this in my bathroom it is completely gone I like actually took the pump out and poured the rest on my hands this smells so amazing but like it's one of those things that like it's either there or it's not and every time I go back it's not there but this if you can find it this is a really nice smelling uh hand soap. All right, next up. Hey, I was talking about this earlier. This is the Focus Eucalyptus and Tea Essential Oils Nourishing Body Oil from Bath and Body Works. Um, I have gone through, there's, I, there are probably four in here. I'm not even joking. I'm not going to dig them out because there's still a lot of stuff in here, but I loved this stuff and that was past tense because as soon as I found the cheaper version at HEB, I stopped uh, getting the more expensive ones because I feel they do the exact same thing. But I do love the scent range from Bath & Body Works. So if you are very particular about the scent of your body oil, Bath & Body Works does have a little better range on scents. Alright, next up is the Manuka Honey and Mefer Oil Intensive Hydration Conditioner. Uh, it's almost the exact same thing as this one. It just doesn't have the yogurt in it. The only thing I don't like is that it's in one of those like squeezy squeezy caps and i would love them to put it in a pump or put it in a uh, container like this where you just squeeze it out i feel like that would make it more efficient but hey next up i have a whole lot of skincare products i'm just going to pull them all out at the same time they're all almost the same thing i have the neutrogena hydro boost water gel this is the original one not the extra extra strength and the clinique moisture surge okay these two are basically the same thing. Like, I'm not, I'm not even joking. The only difference that I have found between the two of these is that the Moisture Surge has a higher concentration of hyaluronic acid, so it actually makes my skin feel more plump and moisturized longer than this. But if you actually look at what they claim, this one says it has 72 hour uh, hyd hydration, and this one is just a hydrating gel. So if you just want something 
it's a, a water-based gel to sink into the, sin, the skin really quickly. Both of them will do the job. Uh, I was going to say I was going to have these in a dupe video for each other, but this doesn't last nearly as long as this. But for the price of this, that's perfectly fine because I apply this in the morning and night. And this, if I applied this more than once a day, so I would usually put it on at night. If I put it on in the morning as well, it would make my skin a little too moisturized and it would look kind of, um, not sweaty, but just a little too dewy throughout the day. So if that's what you're looking for, then you might actually really like it. It is a lot more expensive. I think this sucker was like $50 compared to $12. Um, but they do, they do the same thing. This one will just have more of a like hydration punch than the Neutrogena one. And next up is the Aveeno Active Naturals Ultra Calming Nourishing Night Cream. I was trying out, uh, some of you have noticed, I don't know if I put it on social media yet or not. If I did, it was like a year ago and I don't remember. Uh, but I get a lot of redness and texture like on the upper parts of my face and it just comes with age, guys. Uh, and I was trying to find something to help calm that down. And so I used this, but I can't actually tell you if it did anything. Like I would put it on, it would make those certain areas feel like, um, I put peppermint oil on them, kind of. It has rosemary in it and things. Uh, and it would feel really nice and it, you know, made my skin really hydrated, but I don't know if it actually did anything for my redness, so I have not repurchased it. Um, <clears throat> up next is the Dove Purely Pampering Body Wash Sweet Cream with Peony. This smells so good. Uh, this makes me feel like I am a princess and every time I use this I am soaking in bath water that is full of flowers and milks and it smells amazing and it leaves my skin like pretty soft because they redid their formula and it, see, it no longer has sulfate which is amazing because sulfate all it does is dry off the skin um which is kind of you know counterintuitive to put into a body wash that's supposed to be moisturizing so they redid the formula and i loved it so much i have a monster bottle that i got from costco or something i, I don't even know where i got it from but it's a ginormous bottle that has a pump and it just lives in my bathroom and that is like all i use i'm sorry the the small kitty is trying to play with things hanging on my door my doorknob all right, <clears throat> up next is the Revlon Photo Ready Perfecting Primer. You can tell I didn't finish it. This didn't work at all. Like I would put it on, on my face after I like wash my face and moisturize and things. And it would mattify my face and like, not that it was like a perfecting primer, but it would mattify and kind of um, seal up larger pores that I have like right here. Um, but then I would try to put my makeup on top of it and it would move. It would either move or it would ball up or it would like cling to weird parts of my face like I gave it a good go I really did but ugh, I'm not gonna get that ever again and I had the same problem with the Maybelline master primer uh, the blur and redness control it did the exact same thing um, it just moved around my face and didn't actually like act as an anchor for my makeup so I threw it in here um, this is something that I use whenever I travel. These are the Clinique Take the Day Off Micellar Cleansing Palettes. These are really, really nice. They're not overly expensive. I just throw them in my travel bag or I throw them into my, um, my carry-on if I'm like going somewhere. Uh, that's a travel bag. Oh my goodness. Uh, or I throw them into my gym bag to take my makeup off before I work out. And... It, it works. I love it. It takes off more makeup than any other wipe and it doesn't burn my eyes. I'm sorry, this the small one is trying to get into a bag. Anyway, uh, up next is the Simple Micellar Cleansing Water. Ah! Cleansing Water. Uh, there is still some in here. I don't know why there's still some in here. Oh, I know why. It's because I bought this one and I went through it already. So then I switched to the Garnier one. Um, the simple one didn't get rid of all my makeup. I would have to do like two or three passes over my eyes just to get like my non-waterproof makeup off. And if I had waterproof on, it was a nightmare. I, I don't feel like it actually did a very good job. The um, original Garnier one does a much better job. It takes off way more <laughs> than any other brand. I uh, This is the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser for normal to dry skin. 
I absolutely love this stuff. It is super gentle. It doesn't burn my eyes. I use it with my Clarisonic. Um, it does a really good job. It just cleansing away impurities and I love it so much. There's probably another one in here. Um, there's also another one in my bathroom that I'm already using. If I find one that I've already talked about, I'm not even picking it out of the box at this point. But, oh, another native. That, what's, that's three, four. Ooh, oh, I love this stuff. This is the Village Naturals Therapy Aches and Pains Muscle Relief Concentrated Mineral Bath Soak. Uh, whenever you find it, I got this at Target. It's still at Target. You just have to look around for it. She's climbing up the back of my couch. Um, it comes in, they're like dark green Epsom salt crystals in here, and it is so concentrated. They tell you, you only need to fill up this capful twice for one bath. Like, in it it does the job that that the two little capsules will absolutely turn your entire bathroom into this peppermint relaxing just oh, i love it oh i smell it okay if you want to equate the smell to anything vicks vapor rub but without the petroleum is what it smells like it is like a punch of peppermint it is amazing this is what I use if I am suffering from a long workout or like ugh. if you have sore muscles soak with this you will feel better immediately I promise um next is this is something that I tried it was new last year and then I don't know if I filmed this I think it made it into that video in which I have like really bright orange lips on I can't remember um or it's in the video that I was unboxing my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. But this is the Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Cream. And I used it once and I was going to return it. I lost the receipt. It's goopy, it's sticky, and it moves all over the face. You put it on your lips and it's just everywhere now. So I just didn't like that at all. And I can see the bottom, guys! Um, there's another... A Bath and Body Works thing in there. There's another, um, well, I have like 10 of these in these boxes. This is the, um, really big face and body, um, sponge by Real Techniques. And I, it's really gross and it's really dirty. But I feel like they changed the composition of the sponge. It used to be on par with the Beauty Blender, but now I just feel like it just soaks up all my makeup and I have to go through more makeup in order to get like more coverage on my face than I ever had to before. So I actually threw all of these away, uh, except for this one, and went back to the original Beauty Blender because it doesn't soak up all my makeup. Um, I don't know what happened. Like, real techniques, what happened? <sighs> Such a bummer too, because they were so much cheaper. Um, okay, there's two more things in here that I wanna talk about, because everything else I've already, uh, I've already pretty much talked about um first of all is the voluminous lash paradise um volumizing mascara guys i have been trying to find and use more cruelty free products like give me like two seconds okay uh i have gone through the physician's formula no this isn't what is this I don't know what this one, the Voluminous Nilium Lashes, I think that's another L'Oreal, never mind. Uh, but you can see I've gone through a lot of the Lash Paradises, I absolutely love this makeup, and CoverGirl went cruelty free. Uh, a couple months ago I was super excited, I've never really used the products before because, I don't know, that was always a brand that I equated to like high school beauty. And then they came out with this um, mascara called CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. And, oh my goodness, it's on par with the... I can't even open it. Oh, Okay, it's on par with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. But it has quite a few cons. First of all, I don't know if you can tell. The brush on this is ginormous. Like, this is actually touching my skin. Sorry, it stopped filming. It does that. Uh, but anyway, so this is actually touching my fingers right now. That is how, like, you can, like, see? Uh, that is how big the brush is. I have stabbed myself in the eye so many times with this massive wand. 
So that's a con for me because like I do like getting mascara right at my root and wiggling it up and this makes it really difficult to do that without poking yourself. But like I can look past that because the formula is pretty good except if you've had it open for three, three weeks it gets really thick and really like clay like and it gets really hard to work with. So I find that I would have to purchase more of these in the long run than I would the L'Oreal ones. But this is cruelty free. I commend CoverGirl for being one of the first big drugstore brands to go cruelty free. And that is it. I mean, I had a couple things in here. Like, um, I have five of the NYX uh, brow pencils that are like super cheap and super good and really on par with the Anastasia ones so I recommend the next ones uh, but I've already told you guys that in favorites videos and like everything else in here is just like little knickknacks that I've already talked about in favorites videos so that is my ginormous haul like not even a haul that's this is my ginormous empties video uh, a lot of these I would repurchase um, and then the ones that I wouldn't have already told you. But yeah, so I will try to keep filling this little guy up with more products. You can see it's kind of like stained from like all the makeup products I've been putting in it. Uh, but as soon as this little guy is full again, I'll hop back on here and give you another empties video. Um, so just let me know down below what kind of video you want to see. I'm open to pretty much everything. Uh, if you've seen anything in this video that you really, really like, go ahead and comment it down below. If you see something in here that you have used up over and over and over again and I didn't mention it, put it down below because I want to know what you're using up and what you're going through because if you love it as much as you do, I might love it as much as well. So share the knowledge. Uh, but anyway, so that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching this ginormous empties haul and I'll see you guys later. Bye!